Hi everybody. My name is Karen Miller and I'm the pastoral associate at St. Charles Borromeo. And I'd like to share a few things with you about our senior ministries. I think the most important thing I wanted to tell you is that our seniors are amazing at supporting each other and they gather regularly in groups. So for instance, we have a monthly, um, on the third Wednesday of the month, a group called Age of Grace and Wisdom, which is our senior lunch. And then one Friday a month, we have a group called Senior Singles, and they go out to dinner at m many of the um, great restaurants in Livermore. One of the most amazing things that happens at St. Charles is our small face sharing groups. And today I have Vince Foudy with me who leads one of those groups, but he leads a very special one. So thanks so much for being with us today, Vince. Thank you, I'm glad you invited me. It's been great to have, it's great to have you. So can you tell folks a little bit about um, your group at the Heritage? Heritage is one of our very large senior care facilities. I think it has something like 500 beds and Vince does a very great thing there. Yes, I do two things. Every Sunday, I attend 9.30 Mass here. Then I go home, and the audio department helped me set up on my computer a program that I download the Mass from that Sunday on a flash drive. Then I take a smart TV over to the home, and I sh sh show the, the Mass to the seniors that can't leave the facility. Uh, one of the ladies shared that she appreciated it so much she hadn't been able to go to Mass for three years. Wow. And at that time, we also give them communion. I also lead a small group that twice a year when we have the formal program, we lead that, and there's a, I bring the TV and show the um, message from Father, and then the rest of the time we pick some event from St. Charles and show that, so we meet once a month for the rest of the year and the people like it because they can't um, get out. That's such great support for our seniors. Um, this is really a community that does um, offer very tangible and active support for people. And Vince, could you tell me a little bit about how you see the parish? What is the quality of St. Charles? St. Charles is fantastic. My wife developed a disease years ago that was deteriorating. And so we always had the support from St. Charles. The time when she's in the hospital, I got a call from the rectory saying, what time do you want dinner? I says, we can fix dinner. She says, no, what time do you want dinner? So a group came for a month and brought us dinner wow. at a time before microwave and cell phones. And each person, after they told us how to prepare the meal that they brought, said, and here's my number, call me 24 seven. I'm here to support you if you need anything, don't hesitate. That is just fantastic. And then on our 48th anniversary, I asked Father, could we have a blessing that's usually given to couples after 50 years? And I says, if we can get my wife to, to church, can we have the blessing, even though we have to rearrange pews and what have you? He says, by all means, you get her here and we'll take care of it. So we did that and they arranged it and it happened to be on the Sunday for the pancake breakfast. So we had a special table for our family and friends to join us for that special occasion. On the 49th year, I asked Father again, can we do the same thing? He says, by all means. I said, we're disrupting the logistics in the church. He says, you don't worry about that. You get your wife here, we'll cover it. And it was a beautiful experience that my wife was grinned from ear to ear. That's wonderful. Vince is one of our most active members in the community. In fact, he's on the Finance Council in addition to leading a small group. And he has a special skill that he shares with our faith formation uh, groups. Do you want to tell the people what you do? I like woodworking and I've been playing with wood all my life since I was a toddler. And I made a Noah's Ark and here's one of the animals that is now in the, the room where they have babysitting during mass and the toddlers love that. Then I also, last year, as a thank you gift for the Faith Formation teachers, um, made these crosses that are a replica of the cross in front of our church. And I got so many lovely thank you notes from the Faith Formation teachers, it is really fantastic. This year I'm helping a third grade class, and the book said to send the children home with a, a bug to remind them what they were supposed to do that they learned that week. 
So I made the bugs out of wood. So this sits on their dresser to help them remember to do what was special for each one. Each one wrote what they had to do, like help mom babysit, do the dishes, or whatever. That is so much fun. And speaking of faith formation, one of my favorite events at St. Charles during the year is our intergenerational Thanksgiving dinner, where our fourth and fifth graders host Thanksgiving dinner for our seniors. Would you like to tell the people a little bit about that? That was a fun event. It was really fun. We signed up and when we went to on the night, um, we were met at a, the table and assigned a fourth or fifth grader who was going to be our host or hostess and made sure all our needs were taken care of. They guided us to a table, introduced us to the other adult and helper at the table, and then we discussed what Thanksgiving was for us, how we shared it in our family, and how they shared it in their family. In addition to that, I had the opportunity to learn or meet three other adults that I didn't know before, and we got to become friends. That's great. So um, to conclude, is there anything you want to say um, in closing about the parish to the people who are watching? I think the parish shares so much love that I would encourage you to come to a Sunday Mass and just dis discuss it with um, the people at the church. And you, once you come, you're, you're not going to want to go to another church. Yes. And I would say... Um, at St. Charles, the real glue that holds the community together is the love of Christ, which is actively shared among the people. Wouldn't you say so, Vince? Yes, that was brought to my attention years ago when I was doing taxes part-time. The instructor said, well, what is glue? And I said, it's something I use to hold wooden parts together on toys we make in 4-H. He says, that's good, but what does it mean here? And he said, it means you greet, you listen, you understand, and you engage. So I think if you come and meet uh, a person here or discuss the person next to you about the benefits of St. Charles, you're not going to want to go to another church in the future. Vince, thanks so much for being with me today. Thanks for viewing this video, and we hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.